really excited to open this because I've been dying in the past week waiting for this thing to come in because my back is killing me and I just want to sleep properly. So, we'll see how, uh, how much this holds up to its, uh, I guess, hype. So today's video is going to be an unboxing of this Leech Co. Um, I guess pregnancy pillow, I don't know, sleeping pillow, I don't know the technical one, but I got it because now I'm starting to have trouble sleeping. I mean, generally I would always put like a pillow or I'd have a bunch of stuffed animals or something in the bed to kind of level out my spine when I sleep because I do sleep on my side, but it hurts my back because I guess all the curves and whatnot <laughs> make my spine misaligned. I would always have like a pillow to prop of my arm and something in between my legs to lift my legs up and also for my feet and um, it's getting to that point where I'm going to need back support because my back has been killing me. I went online and I looked up the best pregnancy pillows to buy and this one popped up a lot, the Leech Co. Um, company and so I picked out the one for your back and your stomach and so Hopefully, I'm able to get better sleep than what I've been experiencing because the, the, the pillows aren't cutting it anymore. We're going to open this up and <laughs> break it in and maybe tomorrow I will tell you how well it works or if it sucks. I don't even have my pants buttoned all the way because everything cuts into my stomach and I'm not big enough to wear the actual maternity pants because they have a lot of space up top. I guess it's for late trimester but like I'm too big for the clothes that I have right now and it's just a struggle right now to find anything but at least it's getting warmer so I'm definitely just gonna invest in a bunch of dresses because I can't do these pants. It's too much work. This is like a big pillow. I can't even remember the exact maybe if I have that. Packing slip? Yep. Alright. Inside the box comes with a huge pillow and a thank you card and my packaging slip. The brand that I got was um, the Back and Belly Bunchy in Splash Gray. I wasn't too keen on the price, but I'm willing to pay it if it'll help in any way. And so it's about. Um, 100 for this pillow and I wasn't even going to bother buying the case. I'm just going to figure out how to sew a case because that's expensive too and I'm, I'm, not, I'm not doing all that. It says, thank you for your purchase. We truly appreciate it. I design every product with your comfort in mind because you deserve it. I wish you comfort, joy, and sleep. Thank you. And I hope I get this. But it's really cute. I like the little pictures. But yeah, you don't have to be pregnant to get this pillow. Again, if you're having back issues or, you know, problems sleeping at night, definitely look into getting something to level out your spine and you'll have much better sleep because I, I notice the difference in sleep when my back and everything's aligned and leveled up. All right, let's take this thing out. It says, hey there, it's great to meet you. But I got the biggest size I possibly could because I am pretty tall. I'm about 5'9", and I wanted a pillow that extends my whole body because, again, I need my arms to be leveled, my legs and my knees to be leveled, and also my feet so everything's straight. So I got the straight <laughs> pillow because I don't like the curved ones because then it does nothing for my feet. <laughs> The thing is big. Very big. Ah, and so if you can see, it'll show the different positions of what you can do with the pillow. This is typically how I sleep, so that's what I need. It has inner curves to support your back and your belly when you get bigger. And since it's a U-shaped design, it provides equal support all around. And then you can kind of pop it up to make it like a little 
beanie couch something to sit up when you're in the bed. Looks pretty good to me. Alright. Um you can't even see how tall it is. Oh, this is comfortable. It feels nice. Alright, let me put it on the and see how long it is. Excuse me, sir, you're going to have to move, okay? Alright, move on. And the other one fell in the box, so if you hear ruffling and noise, that's him in the back. This bed is a queen size bed, and it basically takes up the whole thing. <laughs> so if you have a partner, um, this will be the barricade. So unfortunately, you won't get to uh, be in contact with them, but they also can use, I guess, the side if they sleep on this side or the other side. You know, vice versa. But even if I'm not laying down and I sit back, the top of the pillow is pretty cushioned. So uh, if I want to sit up, I can I can do that, and it feels pretty comfortable on my back. I would have thought the curved pieces for your back would have been more towards the middle. Um, it, I feel like it's lower than the middle, so. I don't know, but I guess your head's supposed to go here, and I feel like it should be in this spot here instead of down by where my thighs are. So, um, I don't know, but yeah, I don't really feel the back support. Maybe if I flip it, if it's supposed to be here. Yep. So the issue I have right now with this thing is where the curved spots are because I feel like it would fit the little gap between my back and the bed and also for my stomach but I don't know why it's close to the feet so I think what I'll probably have to do is flip it and see if it works that way which makes no sense but whatever Um, now, uh, I feel like I'm gonna spend more energy fighting with this thing. Okay, if I lay like this, I guess so. Uh, how about we prop this up so I can lean on? Ugh. Now I feel nauseous. This is making me more uncomfortable right now than anything. I'm just gonna sit like this. The pros for this thing is that it is comfortable because it's really well cushioned and it's nice. I don't know how long the cushion will last if it's like those really fluffy pillows that get flat over time, then it'd be pointless. If you're cheap like me, you can just kind of slit a hole and take out the stuffing and then restuff it with more fluff and kind of revive the pillow that way. So I mean, that's something you can do. I don't know why the little hump bumps are towards the feet, because in the picture it shows it's in the very center of the pillow. and. This is not. It's more towards the bottom, which don't help me at all because my knees don't need that support. It's my back and my stomach that will need that that support. So I'm not too happy about that. Color, I, I really don't care. I don't care about the fashion of this thing. I just want to be able to sleep through the night. And um, I don't know. I mean, I feel like it's a tad bit too fluffy for me, so I have to break this thing in, so hopefully I can have it fit to my body and my sleeping style, so I will be able to sleep, but, um, I don't know. 
but that 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 was really exhausting. <laughs> this pillow is heavy and it takes up like the whole bed. So if you have a king size bed, then you'll have more space, and this won't basically take up everything. If you have a full size bed, this this is the bed. So that that's basically that that's all you get. So I wouldn't even advise getting this pillow if you have a full size, because that'll take up the whole entire thing. Yeah. So I'm not really a hi. Hello. You want to test out the pillow too? I'm not really a fan of the price for the flaws that it has right now. Um, but again, I guess we'll see. Nobody wants to look at your butt. I guess we'll see when the night occurs and I get some sleep and see how that turns out. But um, I don't know. From what I'm experiencing so far, considering everything, I would give it a three and a half out of five. Hopefully I'll get the dream sleep that it's promising. <laughs> Which of course it's not guaranteed, but um, I was desperate and I, I really need that, that support now because I can't lay on my back anymore since my stomach's getting bigger and so I have to sleep on my side and when I sleep on my side my back hurts even more because it's not leveled so we'll see how that goes but um yeah I guess I will wrap things up tomorrow and let you know the aftermath of my sleep and so fingers crossed but I will see you guys tomorrow and let you know my final opinion on this leech co back and something back and belly slider something I don't remember what it's called <laughs> so um good night so where we left from last night um I did not have a great sleep at all I was right with where the bumps were that it wasn't going to support my back or my belly and it didn't and since the pillows were super overstuffed and my spine and everything was not aligned yeah there was a lot of turning and the only thing that it did give me comfort with is because it supported like my I would say it supported my back it's just because I have a memory foam bed and since my husband is a lot heavier than I am I don't really make an indent in the bed so when he lays down I sink into it so the only thing that that pillow did was create a balance for me so I'm not sinking in and having more back pain overnight so that was the only thing that it did help with but I just wish that the bumps were higher up and actually supported my stomach and my back and not my knees because it is a really really comfortable pillow if your body isn't as picky as mine is and you don't need alignment as much as I do. I would definitely say this pillow is a good one. I would look into the cheaper uh, versions of it, but um, yeah, it's not a bad pillow for it being a pillow. It's pretty comfortable, especially when you prop it up and you know when you're sitting up in the bed and eating or watching something or on your computer or whatever. It's really, really comfortable. It's just it doesn't sit where I need it to sit when I'm sleeping. So kind of defeats the purpose. I'd still give it a three and a half stars for me personally, but for the general public, maybe four, barely. Yeah, that's, that's basically it. I'm pretty tired because I still, again, did not get much sleep and I'm just really exhausted. So, um, I'm probably going to take a nap after this. <laughs> Or just straight up go to sleep so with that being said thank you guys so much for watching have a wonderful night morning evening or afternoon whenever and i will see you lovelies next time